Jeffrey Holy. I need to get some ibuprofen. No ring for the I didn't really, like, I, I accomplished, I see this a lot more, I think. I, here, okay. Okay, bye. My prediction for that build, knowing nothing outside of seeing their core skills and the weapon they're using, is that they taunt and then shield. I bet that's like the, the like, I don't know, the mindset behind. And maybe that's like good. But I know like shielding up, when this game first came out, it was like, oh, that's so good. But then you realize that it's really not that great. It's so situational and positional. But maybe if you can just shield and put yourself, or taunt and then shield yourself in a corner, but it's still the same issue. Even though you you can make it so that they take more damage, and I don't know why you wouldn't pick that, but you're still not participating. And thus killing slower, and thus not moving the machine along. And in a game like this, I am completely like judging this person's build, and I didn't even see them play. But um, again, like this game, and others like it. And like, what are these horde shooters? I suppose co-op horde shooters. Um. On higher difficulties, you gotta be moving. Because if you're stagnant, you're just gonna, like, cause more problems. 
Wow. Executing. I don't know what you threw at them that went and then blew up, but it was cool. I sidetracked myself so many times on my last minute. I was like making such a good point about Make it such a good point about uh executing playing games just to play games and playing games to get achievements versus playing games for like some escape, some fulfillment, some something. Other than because like I feel like I'm supposed to do it. And not taking the time to enjoy the game. Because like I was starting to say, I I ruined so many, so many potentially great games. Games that I would def like. Okay, so I was talking about Never Dead last time. I just thought of another one. This game called Wet. I played through that. But I, I used to like rent a game. Or this is actually really post game rental. But I still kind of did it. Okay, so here's what you would do. And you, I guess you could still kind of do this today. Go to GameStop for sixty dollars, or whatever you have. But the more you have, the better it's gonna serve you. Okay, so you go with like sixty bucks, sixty, sixty-five bucks. You buy a game, and then you take it home and you grind it and beat it over the next seven days. When you beat it and you finish it or you're satiated by it, you then return it utilizing GameStop's seven day return policy on used items and games. And you get something else. So it's not the same thing as renting, but it basically is the same thing. So I like blew through my local GameStop's like, you know, library of 360 games. I would go in all the time. They, you know, knew who I was, which benefited me in many ways. Just checking to see if anybody traded in something new, something different that I haven't played before. And I think that's how I played Wet, which... Wanted Dead is one of my, like, all-time favorite games. Definitely, like, my favorite game of the last, I don't know, five years. But I've read a lot about the comparisons between that and wet. And I remember wet and I remember hating it. But I played it for my first time knowing nothing about it on the hardest difficulty, which I think was as hard. Just to get achievements and just play through it. And I just like put my head down and played through it just to get the fucking achievements. It was so ass, man. What a Dumb approach. What a bad time. Probably, maybe I wouldn't have then, but these days I would definitely enjoy. It. Weirdly enough, I did have other games that I like loved, and I never got all the achievements. Out. Like I played. I don't know if I ever beat Kane and Lynch on the first level. I still wish they gave the Ogren the, the Deep Rock Galactic perk of if you don't have a weapon equipped for like three seconds, it automatically rerolls. I really want that shit for the Ogren. I know it makes no sense and is like dubiously good, especially in DRG if you're using the uh, grenade launcher and the engineer, which obviously 
I say that and I'm not even using the grenade launcher, which is like the same one. Eh. The same one in this. I'm not even using it, but made it so good. I also wish I could get an actual shot. Not this one. I do think I'm gonna switch back. To the Especially because they made the uh, the sticky grenade a little bit better. You see, I'm glad they added the button, but they didn't add the emote of like thrusting your hand in the air, and that's kind of like not acceptable still. We're getting there. It's better, but it should still be like for the emperor. This smells, it can't be far. They, it should, there should also be an Easter egg where if you do it enough, they say like especially the Ogren dude because he's like a fool by lore. Sorry, Doctor Tooth, I'm not. In like insinuating that you're not smart but like he should like say for Carl if he's such a multifaceted like thing that oh, uh, 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 being funny hilariosity and hilariousism because the people who know know and they'd be like ah oh, i see what you did there ha 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 la, 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 la. the people who had no idea what the fuck that means they'd be like what who i can just envision the reddit post now who the fuck is carl and why does my own talk about him randomly <laughs> and then there'd be so many trolly comments like that's the emperor's first name bro what do you mean, who's Carl? You don't know Carl, Emperor McEmperor? It'll never happen, but I, in my fantasy land that I need to live in to, like, survive. Oh, gonna... oh I just thought, like, what if that... <laughs> what if that triggered fucking demon host, bro? Out of the bad. You guys trying to fuck shots. Me. I am gonna heal. You are a mess. I don't know where. Who am I? Who am I? Back to back to playing games for a purpose. Because I like. To, I don't know why I'm like I'm enjoying talking to myself about this topic so much, but I really am. It's, uh, it's just so interesting to me, and there's no reason that it should be other than because, like, it personally affects me. So, I just am, like, now I'm just, like, rolling through my brain the amount of games that I played. Just for some achievements. And to this day, like, and I look at Xbox, I still, like, look at my achievement score, and I'm like, fuck, dude. It's like, it's not as high as some other people, but it is almost, uh, if not, just 250,000 achievement points. Granted, that's like years and years and years of build-up, but still... So crazy. The amount of like random games that I play. And the scummy stuff I did to get some achievements like, all right, so. Uh, my homeboy, I've known for many years. Terminating. Makes YouTube content and is is really kind of like I don't know helped me realize that maybe I should do it to kind of help myself I don't know again I talked about my concept last time a little bit but um, he and I played this game called 
alien colonial marine, which nobody liked except for us and one other guy that I wish I could remember his name. And I can't. And it bums me out, because I'm normally pretty good about that. I can't remember his name. Anyways, we met him like playing. I always played the warrior. Is that what it was? And my homeboy, Daka Boom, played um, What it was called, but it's the one that like spits an acid. I'm sure it had some name, but I don't remember. I don't remember anything. He played the acid spitter. He had the build where like when you died, it left a puddle of acid, so he would like run up on people and blow up all the time. It was trash. It was pretty funny stuff. Um, he also changed. I want to say that, like, default for the acid spitter was when he spit or spat. I'm sure or spit, you must have heard spit, spit. Of Saint it shot she like a single, here. like, projectile with like a bullet. But you could get a perk that changed it to, like, a shotgun. But for, like, less damage or had, like, shorter range or something. So you just run up on people and like, bleh, bleh, bleh. shoot his shotgun spit. If he killed them, great. If he died, fine, because he left a puddle and it, like, did more damage, seemingly, than the spit. Or he just had already chunked them down so much that by the time they, like, reacted to being in the spit, that they were, it was too late. They were dead. And then I played the warrior, and I remember the combo was flurry, which was this attack with the warrior where he, like, swung... The claws like three, two or three times, like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. and then you immediately do tailspin, which was like a one of the warriors' like abilities, where they spun around and hit the marine with their tail, and it would like crit and chop their head off a lot of the time. And if that didn't kill him, you just do fury or flurry again. So you just do flurry, tailspin, rinse, repeat until they die. And then on top of that, I want to say I gave the warrior, like, more health or some, you know, like, extra armor or whatever. But it was just so disgusting. So we just honestly and actually terrorized lobbies. I remember you leveled up your... Uh, I thought there were more people... You leveled up your marine and your alien separately. And while we did fine as the, the marines, uh, our aliens were like level 40 something day. Like we were just cruising through the game. We figured out the meta and we're just like having a great time. Nobody else was. We got so much hate mail. And then there was a third alien that was like the traditional like horror alien from the movie Alien that could like dock and like climb on the ceilings and like pounce and you know like kind of like specialized in picking the, the survivors off that were left over from like the acid spitter and warrior. We met this dude and I can't remember their name but they were so good so then we had the trifecta the trio and I think it was 5v5 but it didn't even matter at that point because we just like dogged people in lobbies, especially the three of us. Because we had all of our weaknesses covered at that point. So we just, and like we were so in tune. And it was awesome. But there was also like a co op campaign separate from the multiplayer. And of the achievement hunters that we were. We're like, oh, we gotta get all the achievements. And the base game. It was okay. I, I think it got a lot more hate than it deserved, but, um, you know, it was a fun co-op campaign with up to four players, I want to say, and you could, like, have different loadouts and weapons and all that shit. And so, if you hosted a game, though, you couldn't get booted, and that's important because... 
like it was um, client side servers, I guess is what that would be. So like, you, it was your lobby. They were connecting to you. It was also a game where like they tried to like. Understanding that four-person co-op life happens and you like it's one of those games with checkpoints and stuff where you can't progress until your whole party's there or whatever. They implemented a system where if somebody went AFK or was too far behind or whatever the case may be, the rest, whoever was like the point man, if you will, in the scenario, could like warp everybody ahead. Thus progressing the mission and so while that's all well and good you know, I think it's still good game design the problem is is that it's exploitable by disgusting humans like myself who would utilize that for evil you know like like a like the oil baron and so we would do that and my buddy Dr. Booms and I would start a lobby and then we'd put it on the hardest difficulty which mind you was really hard people would come in they would play for a minute or whatever and then they'd realize like all these people aren't playing what the fuck and then they would quit or alternatively they would write hate mail they like you suck why aren't you playing but then proceed to play and so they do all the heavy lifting for you they literally beat the game for you but you still get like the achievement and the credit and so i got a lot of hate too. but i beat the game on the hardest difficulty without ever actually like playing it i'd like set up a lobby and be like i'm gonna go out to dinner and i'd come back and i might be like a checkpoint ahead or not at all or sometimes you're like damn they beat three missions and people would just come and go it wouldn't matter your lobby would stay open as long as like you did so funny so like games like that i got a bunch of achievements on but i also like them. those those were few and far between I know someone who ruined the wonderful magical game of Contra because of Xbox Live Arcade and trying to get all the achievements. So now they absolutely despise that beautiful game. This is horrible. Oh, he's doing the thing where if you have a, what is it, like a void stack, you can just permanently, uh, force lightning. You gotta kind of out ahead. These guys are too strong. I think it, we're at a, a period in the game where people are mostly playing this difficulty because they're just testing and seeing shit. And so I'm encountering like people who probably normally play Damnation and whatnot. It's like to brutalize the game.
just to test some shit out. Still like undecided on this taunt though. Like I think it's great. But I think the bull rush is probably better. <laughs> Even the gun. One is probably good. What is this? Is happening. This is teeth. I presume because of the teeth. It's actually not the first time I've seen that. I saw somebody else named Tooth, but they spelled it like different. They went the Ogren spelling path. Hilarious. 